Let's look at this capture group camera. And I have two of these, so I'm only modifying one. This one will stay as is. But it's basically a Copal 3 shutter with a Nikon lens mount, third-party Nikon lens attached today, and then a sliding mechanism to either preview your image on this side, right? You would use that for composition. You would close your shutter, cock your shutter, rotate over to your digital back where the 70 millimeter film back is playing that role. And then you would take your exposure. And this was really important because the old school backs didn't have live view, the old school digital backs. So you had to preview with this. But my new school modern back does have live view. So I'm really just using this part, right? So I'm gonna modify it to remove this, remove this part, fix everything in place uh, so it doesn't wobble while maintaining this mechanism here that releases the back so you could rotate a rectangular sensor to be in vertical or horizontal position. So here's the modified camera and unmodified camera. And next we'll go through the features of the new camera. Now you're really limited. I would keep it 1 60 of a second or below uh, with a bright sky. You might see the artifacts of the blades here. Maybe I can open these slightly so you can see them. No, I can't. No, you can't. You can see them there. So you have to be really careful with that highest shutter speed. So anyways, it's, it's really limited to tripod work, you know, at 1 60th of a second or below, but does give you a, a true mechanical shutter to work with. So why am I adding a mechanical shutter? Well, for one, this will let me use a flash, a camera flash. Um, it'll improve the quality of my images over the electronic shutter. And it'll prevent any weird wobble since the electronic shutter takes about a third of a second to read out the image. Um, and if anything's moving, that's gonna look really bad. Turning off the preview mode. See this indicator here? Let's me know it's ready to fire. There's my exposure. I'm using the sync cable to link the Copal 3 shutter to the camera back. This is a Mamiya to Nikon adapter with, uh, t with shift functionality, not tilt functionality. Uh, with, with the actual camera this is built upon, I can rotate the Nikon uh, attachment point so I can get shifts in, let me get this right, shifts in different directions or tilts if I had a tilt adapter on this. Or sometimes I would just use a you know, stock Nikon lens and not bother with any movements. Let's see the uh, shift upwards. Quite a bit of movement on this Hasselblad to Nikon adapter. You can also rotate everything 90 degrees. And then we'd be shifting side to side for stitching two images. Or for, uh, we can tilt the lens if we wanted to get that narrow depth of field look but very useful set of movements. Focusing here and then tilting, shifting the lens. Notice the corners are a little dark, but you have a pretty usable image circle. And if I want to take an exposure, close this, close live view, fire. Oops, cock the shutter and fire. Here my camera is disassembled, but it's time to reach the point of no return and start cutting metal. Here we see that the back has two sets of tracks, which act as a mechanical stop. Once I cut the back in half, I'm going to have to find another way to prevent the back from sliding off. I'll use three tools here, a micro table saw, a disc sander, and a drill press.
Here I've rounded the corners with my disc sander, but I'm going to need to do something to prevent the back from sliding off. I'm going to cannibalize some of the aluminum I've already cut off to do this. As I take some test shots, I've screwed the camera onto a monopod here, and it really acts as one rigid piece of metal, which will give me portability and stability in the field. Another option is to use large format lenses with your digital back. As you'll see here where I have a modern digital large format lens with modern optics and great resolution um, that I can sync with the digital back. Um, this is mounted to a Linhoff Technica 70 camera where I've removed the top range finder. Anyways, this was a super cheap platform, about 300 bucks. Um, I ordered a special adapter plate from China which allows me to mount the Hasselblad back to this. That backing plate can rotate vertically or horizontally, which is really great for framing different images. Um, so this is another option that might be attractive to some of you as well.